Hello, everyone. This is Patty Behan, and I want to thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to make this sweet journal page using Dina Wakeley's newest stamp stencils and collage paper and gloss sprays. So let's get started. To begin, I'm working in the Dina Wakeley Media Journal here, and we're going to look for a watercolor page to work on. And I want to find a page that will stay open for us easily. So let me just keep flipping through here. Okay, this is good. And also, before I start, I want to tell you that this comes with a variety of pages. So there's craft, watercolor, and then there's even canvas and this burlap over here. So we'll be working on the watercolor page. It's cotton watercolor and it's a nice surface for what we're doing today. And I'm using this new stencil. It's the Bond stencil. And then I'm going to take some white gesso and apply it randomly with the palette knife. And I'll put it on the back of the palette knife like so. And then just wipe it over the stencil. And I don't want to fill in the entire stencil. I'm just going to put it in random places and don't fill in the openings all the way. And I'm moving it down here to add some at the bottom. And you want to achieve a background that looks something like this and you just let it dry. And once that's dry, we're going to use this growing mask and stencil set and we're going to put this on the background. I'm going to take out the masks and we're just going to use the stencil part for right now. And then I'm going to put it on the bottom here and then we'll see where else we end up with it. And the paints I'm going to use are lime and umber. And I'm using these two colors because I'm going to mix them together for a darker green. So I'll put some paint onto my silicone mat here. This is great to use as a palette. And as you can see, I love this color. And so it's nearly gone. And now we'll put some umber down here. And I'll take my paintbrush and start mixing them together until I get the color that I want. And then after I did this, I realized I probably should have used a blending tool with foam because you do end up sometimes getting too much paint on the brush with it, with um, when you're stenciling. So, but this is good for now and I'm adding in some extra spots that I missed and now we're going to paint the background and I'm going to use sky. We'll put some on the silicone mat here and I've cleaned off my brush in water at the top and then we're just going to get a wash of paint here and just swipe it randomly in the background. And I decided I wanted to use a bigger brush so I could um, cover a larger area quicker. And you'll notice how the paint is resisting the gesso and the design starts to come out. Now I'm going to use this collage paper here. This is a new one called Text Collage and I'm going to use this large print right here. And then I'm going to take it out of the package. And once I have that, I think I'm going to use um, this bottom portion down here and I'll just tear it. And I'll tear the other side. And maybe I'll tear a little bit more off just to make it an organic shape. Okay, and once that's done, I'm going to take this ultra thick gel medium to glue it down. And I'll grab my big brush over here. And I just put some on the back. And 
and then I'll go ahead and put another coat on top and this kind of helps the tissue to disappear into the page. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is going to spray some sage and orchid gloss sprays onto the page and I'm going to shake them up to make sure they're mixed properly and I'm doing this off camera and so once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and get my splat box here put my journal in there and then we'll start with the orchid spray first and just spritz it randomly on there and then once that's done I'll bring it closer so you can see how that looks these colors go so nicely together and then I'll take the sage spray and go ahead and do the same thing and give it a couple spritzes and then that's good let's bring it up close again so you can see it adds so much interest to your background. All right, now we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna start working on our collage pieces. So I have a piece of cotton watercolor paper that I ripped out of the journal and we're going to do some stamping. And I'm using this nested bird stamp set and I'm gonna take this bird here and I'm going to stamp it with paint. And I'll be using night. So we'll put some paint onto the mat here and then we'll take the ink blending tool with some foam and we'll ink up the stamp by blotting the paint right on it. Just like so. And stamp it down onto the paper. And then you wanna quickly put your stamp into um, some water so that you can clean it when we're done here. And next, I'm going to use the nest. And this time I'm gonna stamp with the syrup gloss spray. So to do that, again, I'm going to shake it up and then spray some onto the mat. And we'll take the foam applicator and go ahead and put it on the stamp and stamp it down, just like so. Next, we're gonna take our stencil and we're going to, this time, use the foam applicator to um, apply the um, paint through the stencil. And I'm mixing up some evergreen and marine with the paintbrush first. And I wanted to mention that I'm using darker colors now because these are going to be cut out and they're gonna be in the foreground. So you always wanna do darker in the foreground and the other ones we did were lighter and that gives it a sense of depth when it's lighter in the background. And I went ahead and I colored the flower with the orchid spray. And now I'm going to color the bird with some sky, lapis, cheddar, and lemon. And you just go back and forth and color it till you get your desired look. And it's a little dark here, so I'm gonna go ahead and blot it to lighten it up. And I'm going to color in the nest by mixing some umber with cheddar. And we're going to let this dry. And next we are going to add some spray to this tag here. I'm going to use some sage and just shake it up before we use it. And just spray it on randomly so that we get some variegated coloring here and then we'll let that dry let me clean up this spot a little bit and then we're going to take our let the art out stamp set and stamp our words with some jet black archival ink and we'll place the stamp on the block and ink it up and then stamp it onto the shiny side of the collage paper. Okay, so now I have everything cut out and we're going to place it on our page. I tore the tag here and I think I'll place it down at the bottom. And then I took another piece of collage paper from a different collage set and 
this is what it looks like. It is things that grow and it has some pretty leaves and different patterns. And now we'll place all of our pieces to see where we want them to land. And I took a piece of this burlap page and I just removed some strings and loosened it up to give added texture. And then I think we'll put that right there. And now I think we're ready to glue it with the ultra thick gel medium. And we'll just take the tissue and put it on the tag here and just glue everything down. Okay, and that looks good. Put the words in. Okay, we're almost done. Let's bring this up and show you how it looks so you get a good look. All right, now for the finishing touch, we're going to add some drips of the gloss spray. To do that, we'll shake up the bottles. I'm using the Orchid first. We'll remove the top and just tap it so that little flecks of paint go onto the page. And then that's it. You have this sweet journal page that was pretty easy to make and it looks so beautiful. So if you'd like to give this a try, we have a link to the full supply list in the description box below. And for more crafty videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.